Hello, I'm Martin Delaney. Today we're going to rewire Live 8 to Logic and GarageBand. Here's a GarageBand project with just a couple of parts in, just to give us a quick idea. Okay, so now what I can do is I can launch Ableton Live by opening GarageBand first and then Live. That sets up the master and slave or host and client relationship. Here's live. I'm going to open a particular live set that I want to use with this. I have incredibly basic operator MIDI parts here. But that's how it works. All you have to do is click play in either application or press the space bar and it'll start running. It'll stay in sync. If I change tempo on the master, the other one will follow. It doesn't work the other way around. So we can try it maybe. So if we go back to live, it won't let me type. BPM value in there now. Let's bring this one back up. And then while we're here, let's just have a MIDI effect on here. Just let's just put uh, an arpeggiator. Just because we can. Okay, so now what happens is when we come to share, to render or export our GarageBand file, let's just stick that on a desktop. It's going to include all the audio from Ableton Live as well. Let's just hide GarageBand, hide Live, go straight to the stereo file. There, that's got the loops from GarageBand and the synth part from Live. So it's gone to Logic now. Here's an Ableton Live set. Even though it's running, you can see there's a level in the master out. We're not going to hear anything because we haven't set up rewire through Logic yet. So let's go to the Logic Mixer. Choose Create Auxiliary Channel Strips. Set that for Stereo. Send it to Ableton Live. And then there's our live audio coming in. So already this does a little bit more than GarageBand does, but now we can go further and add some audio effects to the incoming live audio. Yeah, let's keep that one. Then. The other thing we can do, we can create a new track. Let's, let's create one for an external MIDI instrument. Then Logic's browser will pick up any rewired devices so we can actually target Ableton Live and Operator directly from inside Logic. So even if I do something very simple, I bring up the Logic Caps Lock keyboard can trigger Ableton Live's operator from within Logic. This is quite cool. Obviously I could then record that or I could compose my own more advanced MIDI parts in Logic. The other thing we can do and the thing that I personally use Logic for most is to add some effects processing to the master album.
I'm just going to go to the move this marker in logic to give us the song ending so it doesn't just roll forever. Then if we bounce from logic you can choose to export to several audio formats simultaneously which is very handy. And then this is going to do basically what it did with GarageBand. It's going to include It's going to include my Ableton Live audio in this final stereo mix. Here's the files. Let's just preview this one. You can hear it's got my Ableton Live parts with the logic effects processing. 